This is the Daily Fire for Tuesday, December 26th. I'm Mark Stewart, candidate for governor. And just as I was talking about community policing, an article hits Hartford Current from yesterday. It's about the trashing of a very helpful device, a robot. A robot instilled on some San Francisco streets to be able to help with animal sheltering to be able to help with cleanliness, to be able to take lots of pictures of what's going on, and potentially to be able to help with police enforcing against criminality. The trashing has caused the program to be shut down, and this was at the behest of liberals. This device was meant to help the most needy area in San Francisco, amidst a beautiful city, maybe North America's prettiest city, is a crappy part of town in the middle called the Tenderloin. It sucks. It's rampant got crime, it has filth, it has homeless, and here's one attempt to help police that liberals themselves don't want to encourage. Folks, police need help. When it is innocuous, is just taking photos? What's wrong? Now, some libertarians, that's not liberals, don't especially like lots of photography in public. Well, here's where conservatarian Mark Stewart stands. It's over if you expect privacy in public. It's over if you expect privacy on your computing or through your cell phones. Even if you could legislate against government and enforce government from prying, you can't stop AT&T, Google, Microsoft from the technology that automatically pries out of business. And even if you could legislate against them, the rogues would be the only ones who have that information. So the real world is, if you want to be part of the public, your information's going to be out there. My solution, don't do bad stuff. Don't do things that you would be embarrassed about if the information came out. And an admonition for society. Tolerate stuff that is not harmful might be weird, but is not bad. Give people the benefit of something that might be seen in a bad light or a good light. Take it as the good light. When it comes time to policing, it needs to be in the bad light or suspicious of bad for you to take action, but at least having the alert. And devices that give us more alerts to bad criminality afoot are welcome and should be embraced with our new technology if used benignly.